up in the morning hoping I can find a better way. Got me praying and saying thank you God for another day. These are the mean streets of East Cleveland. I know it's hard time, but I gotta keep your head up. Life there can be hard. Living in East Cleveland, it's a it's a it's like a 24-hour job. Never let the world get you down. It's not a game for the kids who live on these streets. Never let the world get you down. When they get up in the morning, all they're thinking about is getting through the day, alive, and not ending up on this wall. It's about community. It's about being unified as one, standing with your community, down with your community. So they come together for protection and call themselves a family. I love all these guys. All these guys, my brothers. A bunch of teenagers who hang out on the street. This is a street family. That's all street family. A street they've named themselves after. I represent Van Buren because that's where I grew up at. They're that's the all, Van Buren hustlers. Police say they're a gang. <laughs> they say they're not. There's a difference in a gang and a clique. James Haven says the Van Buren hustlers is not a gang. He should know. Then we got a lot of meaning to it right there. For 16 years, he's been a member of a ruthless gang known as the Los Angeles Crips. A clique where they just hang out, they just kicking it, smoking blunts, whatever they do. So the gang is organized. They're organized group of people. We asked Haven to look at this wall and tell us what he sees. Respecting their dead homies that died. That's, that's what it basically is. They're saying they, they still got love for their homies even though they died. Mike Walker, a gang expert, joined him in interpreting the wall. It's kind of sad. It's kind of somber. I mean, it gives you a feeling like you're at a cemetery. To us, it's graffiti. To the Van Buren hustlers, these handwritten tombstones are a memorial to their fallen comrades. It's like our little wall. Like they got one in Washington. This is ours right here. To I us, remember, they're just know, names just on a wall. I remember like when she used to walk home from school with us. But to them, I give my girl a hug, nigga. Wow. they're names that belong to loved ones. They die, you know, they grow up on the wall. We got love. We have love for them. A lot of love. They call this their ghetto memorial. We want to be remembered the same when we leave. And how do they die? Rick was shot to death sitting in a car. It was a triple homicide. One of the teenagers whose name is on the wall wound up here on these railroad tracks. The coroner ruled his death an accident, but his friends think he was murdered. The police, they don't know who killed him or nothing. Some of these kids don't even know each other's real names. All that matters are their street names. Names like Cootie Coo, Funk Jr., Hollywood, 38, and Get It Right Jones. Cootie Coo's real name is Kevin Olds. He was 21 years old when he died. It's like they never got a chance to really live, live out their life, you know, have fulfilled their goals and dreams, and it, it hurts. For many, these big faces right here, the danger comes from hustling, dealing drugs to make a living. I started out at a young age. I needed money at the time, you know what I'm saying? I was 11 years old. You know what I'm saying? I had a habit, like to smoke weed. We look at them as drug dealers. They look at it as survival. She gotta survive, man. It's probably for survival. And most of them say they don't like who they become. We do get up and try to get jobs, and then when you can't get a job, you know, what else is it to turn to but the streets with what you know? Life is hard, but you must do what you gotta do. There are people that are trying to keep you down and try to use you. Stay focused. Some have given up hope of walking away from this way of life. Because these homies are leaving you behind. But others refuse to let their spirits be broken. Because they're to have you spinning like a merry-go-round. And have pinned their hopes on their music, getting them out of town. Because it's mainly about, um, but how it is in the hood about struggling, trying to survive. I reminisce how me Jack and Teeth we used to ball. No matter how hard it is, you still, you got to set goals for yourself. If you don't have any goals for yourself, you're not going to accomplish anything. Yeah, I used to I sell weed, sell weed, I used to sell weed. You know, marijuana, okay, hemp. 19-year-old Avery Davis says he came to the realization that he was on a one-way street to disaster. I got a phone. He decided he didn't want to join his friends on the wall, so he found a way out. On March 10th, Avery is joining the Air Force. Yeah, it's a possibility. Me being dead. Me being on that wall as a ghetto memorial. Every time we tell, while I make it to heaven or go to hell. I left the streets because uh, I just saw I went away ago. The world gets you down. Never let it. It's all about yourself. It's all about what you want to do. Merry go round. Never let the world get you down. Yeah. Christy Steves, Fox 8 News, in East Cleveland. Never let the world get you down.